Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm ahead of schedule. I have been busting my ass off for a few weeks. I've been in California, been in New Jersey, been doing some stuff you are really going to be excited about in a few months. But for the time being, for now, what we're doing is a thrift store ride along where I show you how to find $100 items at thrift stores. We're going to find items you can sell for over 100 bucks. Let's go. Butt crack alert. First stop is a value world. When I'm going in here, I'm looking for electronics, sporting goods, and toys. They also sell a lot of clothing here. I don't sell a lot of clothes. Uh, it's hard for me personally to find clothing items that go for over 100 bucks. But if someone donated five Black Sabbath concert tees, then I'm looking at like a $2,000 win here. Those hardly ever happen, but something to look out for, something to hope for. Looking for clothes. Again, I don't think I'm gonna sell anything or buy anything to sell that are clothes, but I'll still look. Maybe I'll find something for myself I can wear. Uh, there's some tiger's hats around here. I'm looking for tiger's hats. This one, they want like, I don't know how much for it, five bucks or so. More than I'm willing to pay. I can get them for a dollar at Goodwill. They have flat pricing there. This hat's going back. That John Deere hat might have been uh, one I would look up. This is a Stormy Crooner hat, but they want like 20 bucks for it, so no, no thanks. I think I'm gonna put them all back. Here's a weird little guy. It's like a conductor. I could not find what this was, if it was to a set or if it was to some sort of themed gift. Uh, I couldn't really find it on, uh, on eBay or Amazon, so I put it back. I'm not looking to hold more inventory. Sometimes I'll find toys worth a pretty penny here i'm looking for name brands hopefully discontinued uh board games that are new and new in the package i'm looking for nerf guns the uh the tv games you can plug into your tv jacks plug and play whatever those are always good i'm probably gonna buy both of these but i don't think they're a hundred dollar winners i think they're probably in the 40 or 50 buck range which is not bad but not the point of this of this video. Some of these plush toys are not bad, but they're not in great condition. This thrift store is very filthy, very dirty, a lot of stains on the fabric. So even though some of those Fisher Price uh, dog toys to help your kids learn to count, I might've bought those, but they're stained and gross. I checked the purses too. These horse figurines are interesting. They're going for about 25 bucks online uh, on eBay. And they want 15 here. That is way too slim of a margin, and I am not buying them. I'll check out more of the appliances and electronics here. That's a Verilux Happy Light. Two of them, these will make you feel not so depressed during the winter, or, or they say they do, they just give you a big bright light right in your face. These small ones sell for about 10 bucks, and they are not worth picking up because shipping on them is like six to eight dollars. You could sell them locally, I guess, but I'm not looking to make one dollar on an item. Larger electronics over here. This place, I, it's either picked or someone else comes in and buys them because everything here is not things that I sell. Uh, and I would go far as to say they're probably trash items. That stop was kind of a bust. I found a few handheld games that I'll make about probably 40 bucks profit on per. There's four of them. So that's not bad. Over 100 bucks in total, but no one item selling for $100. So on to the next stop. Hey, we're at a Goodwill now. I don't usually shop at Goodwills because they cherry pick hard out here, but I know more about reselling than they do. So I can usually find some scraps in there. Uh, they'll pick out all the DVD VCR combos. They'll pick out the big name brands and sell them on shopgoodwill.com or, or on Amazon or on eBay, but they don't always pick out everything good. So we're gonna go in there and hopefully, uh, I'll look at the electronics and the toys, but clothing here is pretty much picked clean. Goodwill is kind of picked over, like I said earlier, but I can find things here occasionally. This is the electronics and appliances section. Nothing here uh, that I see right away. Maybe some uh, HDMI 3D Blu-ray players? Nope, that is not one. That's just a regular skinny DVD player. I don't think any of the electronics here are uh, things that I want to buy, but there's more sections to the store, and it looks like they just brought out some new merchandise, so I will 
do a lap around and then check that later. I'll only be here for 15, 20 minutes. It's in route to a different store that I like a lot. So I stop here because it isn't that much of an investment time wise. This is a new in box puzzle. I'm always buying those. I'm looking for any new in box game really. Those hold their value extremely well, especially around this time of the year when everyone's buying Christmas gifts and they don't want to buy used Christmas gifts. That's uh, my tip for this stop, I guess. If you're out thrifting, look for anything new in box, sealed, original. That's going to increase the value exponentially. These are the new items, and that's a checkerboard. Those aren't really great to sell. Silver-plated uh, food set, some crystal stuff. Nothing here I would want to buy. Maybe that. That could be a collectible. Uh, what else do we have in here? Game of Life, not new, probably not worth anything at all. This is a, uh, for putting on like tint on your windows, I might buy that for myself uh, and use that if I ever want to tint some windows out because it's cheap. Up here, that's nothing really. Whoa, you see that? Oh, that is a Sony Walkman new in box. Wow, I can tell you right away, this one is going to be my first $100 item. And you're saying a Sony FM AM Walkman? What? Yes, those are worth easily over 100 bucks when they're new and up to 50 bucks when they're used. Man, I was not excited to go in there, but when I bought this, I was very excited. The Sony SRF H2, which is a, a Walkman with a, a radio and the earphone right there. These sell, if it was not new in the package, it'd be about 45 bucks, but it is brand new, new in box, new in package, whatever you want to call it. And so what I'm going to get for this is closer to 119. So probably I'll actually make hundred bucks profit, even though I'm only uh, selling a 25 year old or 30 year old uh, headphone radio. I think the people who are buying these, it's mostly old people who just want the same thing over and over again. Someone who's trying to make a look if they're trying to, you know, dress from the 90s, for example, or people who do movie props or TV props, that kind of stuff. Those are, after, you know, selling hundreds of these, that's what I figured out are the main buying groups. We're the Salvation Army. Not one that is great, not one that's bad. This one's been pricing up a bit lately and they've been cherry picking, I think as well. Or if not cherry picking, then just there's someone coming in here before me or they're coming in every morning. Someone who works here is flipping, I'm not sure. But I haven't had the best luck here with like big name brand items. I found some smaller, uh, you know, runners in the dark, but nothing, nothing that jumps out at you as, oh wow, you're gonna make a thousand dollars here. What I don't like about this Salvation Army is that I don't get a, a cell phone or a Wi-Fi signal in here. That and everything is kind of pricey, so I can't look it up. I'm seeing two DVD players that are not half off, not a quarter off, but they're full price, and they're up around 20 bucks. That is profitable, but uh, the two models you see, I just know by looking at them, they're going to be under 100 bucks. It's going to be like probably 50 buck profit. This toy here is a, a Bigfoot Fisher Price a remote control toy, and it does not have the remote. If you see this out there with the remote, the remote looks like a foot, like my foot right there. They sell for about 80 bucks. They are rare. Over here in the appliances, 20 questions new in the package, but this one, after I, I looked it up, I did get cell service uh, eventually, but only for a few seconds, was not worth anything. These are some figurines here. The brand's a well-known brand. It's McFarlane, if you've heard of it. They make a lot of theater toys, like movie cinema toys. They also make sports figurines. These are all for sale for like seven or eight bucks, kind of a lot of money. And they're gonna go for about 15, 20 bucks a piece. That is too low of a margin for me to jump on, but they are cool. And I hope someone comes here after me and buys them. Someone who appreciates them and, and you know might wanna collect them for their own, uh, their own fortune. I uh, didn't buy those DVD VCR combos. They were 20 bucks about, a little bit less than that. And they were only selling for around $75 on Amazon. I could have held out for probably one, 105 each if I added a remote or just held out until Q4. Later in Q4, it's already November almost. But I said, you know what? I've got a stack of 25 in my warehouse. I don't need these if they're gonna be expensive and relatively, you know, not big winners. One of the things I think is cool that I got is this make your own Monopoly board. 
It's a Make Your Own Monopoly board, and I bought it for $6, and I'll sell it for about $55, so not a $100 winner, but probably 40 bucks profit. Uh, a calculator or two, some video games, just simple stuff. Um, probably out of there with 100 bucks, 150. Sometimes when you're doing this, you're gonna find a lot of duds. We're seeing a lot of duds so far. It's getting warmer out, middle of the day now. Took my hat off, and I think I'm gonna hit up one, two, three, four, five, maybe six more. I don't know, depends how hungry I get and how quickly I need to wanna stop. This, uh, this Salvation Army is not really as frequented as much as the other ones, so it's not as picked clean, but also it doesn't get the best donations, so it's a, it's a crapshoot coming in there every time. Boy, I'm really not seeing anything here. This is the kind of stuff that you leave on the shelves. A calculator that I can't look up to find on Amazon, just the model number is not showing up. A bunch of stationery, maybe. Uh, the DVD game is worthless. Uh, a half-use calendar is worthless. On the top shelves, maybe I can find some toys. That was my hope, at least. Uh, the Buzz Lightyear thing is not complete. The Nerf gun's not complete. None of these toys are new in box. A bunch of duds. I'll go back to the golf clubs now, and I'm looking for Ping, Callaway, Titleist, any of the big name brands. Even if the clubs are 10, 15 years old, I can still sell them for about 20 bucks, and they sell them for a dollar or two here. But none of these. There's an Adams, Tight Lies, uh, early 2000s fairway wood here. I'm not going to buy that because it was a left-handed club, and I probably would get like 10 bucks for it, and it's the middle of winter almost. So, eh, that's when I passed on. But usually, this time of year, I can find a lot of golf clubs that are being donated because the season's over here in Michigan. Uh, that was not the case this time. I really couldn't find anything worth uh, any money. These were not Nike clubs, just a Nike bag. I'm really digging deep now, trying to find anything I can. And I think these two bins here, this area, might be a good area. I'm seeing some more electronics, some headphones, and I'm seeing Sony stuff as well. Uh, that's a wireless headphone set. There is a Sony headset in here, but I can't find the receiver. I can still sell those for about 30 bucks on eBay. You're always gonna wanna do multiple laps around a thrift store. At least I do, because I missed this bin the first time around. I'll go around one time, look for the easy stuff, and then my second time around, I'll start digging in the cracks. The theory behind that is, okay, if I see like an easy uh, DVD VCR combo, I wanna get that first where everyone else does, and then I'll do the digging. This, tempting, but not complete, and frankly, overpriced. Kinda cool to have that box, but the game is not in there. Uh, it'd have to be like new in box for me to pay that price for it. The steering wheels are cool, but those go for, you know, five bucks, and they want four bucks for that. So this is a pass, but uh, in a different universe, that may have been a buy. It's looking like this video might not be the video I wanted to make. I was trying to find all these $100 items, you know, big winners. And I'm finding some small winners, but uh, no real big winners, not yet at least. Passing on really all of this. This is a, what's this? Brown box, 15 bucks, that's promising. It is a big, fancy, like 2,000 square foot uh, modem router type deal. And I will buy that, but I think I'm just gonna buy it from my home. I'm not gonna try and sell it. It'd go for like 60 bucks, I bet. Uh, wow, you see what I mean about them price and stuff? This is crazy, 40 bucks for that pair of boots is just insane. That stop was okay, started off really bad, really, really bad, but then I found a nook with some good Sony electronics. I think it might have been hidden there by someone who works there trying to pick their own stuff, but I found it first. Headphones, um, nothing really making a bunch of money. I found a really nice router in there, but that's gonna go to my, my home because the one I have is kinda, it's, I have to restart it like once every other day, so time to upgrade. Um, only one real big hit today. A lot of stuff in like the $40 to $60 range, which is fine. Still, you know, pays, pays for gas and the bills and everything. But nothing really exciting. We have a few more stops. And the ones that are coming up next are the big ones. I think, I hope, they'll be winners. This one is a new stop for me. It's a value world uh, in Livonia. So we're going to see if they have anything good. I'd never been to this value world before, so I'm just kind of doing a lap around the perimeter, perusing, see what they got. Whole lot of toys, 
similar to the other value worlds I've been to, and it's all kind of low quality stuff. I don't see anything jumping out at me as thing, uh, something I have to buy. Uh, let me look and start digging here more. Nothing new in box. I'm looking for that shiny saran wrap corner exterior, paneling, whatever you want to call it. Nothing there. Uh, no, no new in box stuff. Around the corner, I'm finding something good. That That's a, a projector right there that looks kind of like an old rotary phone. That teapot is worth like 12 bucks. I'm not going to buy it. And then back here, I think I may have found something that I do like. Not the projector, but <laughs> way back there, this uh, Q Challenge game. This goes for about 45 bucks on Amazon. I'm not sure what the eBay price is, but I'll, I'll buy this here for two bucks and I'll, I'll fix it up and sell it. These are good. Uh, that VCR, it's a VCR Plus PV, let me, I think it's 4151 or something like that. It's a, it's a good VCR. They want pocket change for it. Definitely buying that. Don't know what this is, putting it back. I'm gonna look for a few more of these. That's not bad actually. This Magnavox small DVD player, those sell for like 40 bucks because they're so tiny and compact. If I can find that model number, I will buy it. But there's like four or five uh, with that body style. And if you can't find the exact right one, then in my opinion, don't send to Amazon because you might have an angry customer and it's gonna cost you to get sent back to you and it's gonna hurt your account as well. This thrift store is falling right in the middle of what I've had so far. Not the best place, not the worst place. That Panasonic VCR might sell for over 100 bucks. It could be our second big winner item, but I don't know off the top of my head. I've sold them for 70, I've sold them for 120. It just depends how the market feels right now. Everything else here is like worth 10 bucks on eBay and it might sell, stuff that I'm not gonna buy at all. The toy section, uh, different toys on top of the rack. This Speed Racer Jada model car would be worth some money if it wasn't in the condition it was in, uh, I'm going to pass on it. But if it was better, then I probably would have bought it for 3 bucks and 13 cents. That place wasn't that bad, actually. Uh, it's a value world, so they're going to have a lot of clothing. But I was able to find a toy and a VCR that I, I thought would sell. Well, I know it would sell. It was actually our second $100 winner. Uh, Panasonic PV4551 or something like that. Panasonic VCR, a uh, VCR Plus, and it sells for about 125 FBA. So we're we're two on the day. The Sony SRF headphones and that, and then about 10 or 15 items that'll make me around 40 bucks. We pulled into one of the fancier parts in Michigan. We are around Bloomfield Hills in that area. We're at a Salvation Army that I have bought some very, very nice things. That I bought a bearskin rug here. I bought this fancy old amp worth $2,000. And for both of those items, I paid one single dollar because they were running this insane sale. So anyways, let's see what's inside. I'm looking for items over 100 bucks, but I'm buying things that are making me up to like 40 bucks profit. In this plaza, there's a deli right there, a gun shop right there, a Dollar Tree right there, and the Salvation Army right there. I think it's probably the best place, the best shopping center I've been to. Right, first up we got a big ass bean bag. It's like the size of two or three chairs. Not buying it. This is the electronic section and I'm seeing some things that I like. Not a lot of stuff. Not any huge, huge winners, but a LG 3D Blu-ray player? Yes, absolutely, I'm gonna buy that. Everyone always talking about how great DVD VCR combos are, but the 3D Blu-ray players, those are kind of nice, actually. Ooh, also a Sony Hi-Fi stereo. I'm gonna buy that too, I think. Huh, do we have any other good electronics? These Sony receivers weigh like 70 pounds, don't wanna buy them. I'll check the sporting goods though. Some skis might be nice. These look, how much do they cost? 40 bucks, but you know what? It's tan tag day, so they're only 20 bucks. I'm actually gonna buy those. Solomon's a great brand. We're in Michigan, they're gonna sell. I've sold skis that I've bought at thrift stores before. I can get about one or 200 bucks for these. Probably 150 if the bindings are solid and everything's in working order, which I think they are. These Monty Python VHS tapes are cool, but not worth really anything. I'm looking around for some video games. Uh, sometimes you'll find some rare sports games here. That's like NCA football 2013, 2014, not 2008. That's not worth anything. But if you learn to, to read the games, the video games, you can make some money. 
Here's the, the skis again. I want to show you the condition they're in. A little rusty. Uh, the edge needs to be sharpened. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sell them as is. But in this condition, I should get 100 bucks, 150 no problem. Here's what I got. Only three things, which seems like, oh no, terrible. But actually, pretty good. Because these three things together are worth over $400. The skis right here, well, with the with the bindings, I'll get 154 uh, on Facebook this winter, almost guaranteed. And then a, a 3D Blu-ray player and a, a, a Sony SLV uh, 760HF, which is a VCR Plus, kind of like the Panasonic I bought earlier today. These two, about 125 a piece, and this 150. That'll be all cash. You're gonna see it's uh, it's 40 bucks like I showed you in the store, but it's uh, half off, so I got half off that and half off this as well. So I paid 20 bucks for that, and then uh, I paid let's see eight dollars for this. They wanted 16 bucks for a VCR, pretty crazy, but I got it on half off day, so it worked out for me. This should be my last stop of the day. A Salvation Army here in Wald Lake, big plaza. There's a hydroponic store over there that I gotta check out too. Here it is though. This store is notorious for the workers hiding things of high value in the corners. Always make sure you check on top of shelves in the corners in the places that you would hide something if you were a dirty snake. This toy right here looks like it's worth some money, the Fisher Price robot toy, but it really isn't. Uh, sometimes they are not what they think they are. That was me waving. Here's some more plush toys. I'm looking for uh, anything that has like a battery inside that I can look up. Sometimes these battery powered plush toys are worth some decent money, but barcodes are good too. You can always scan barcodes. I'm not seeing anything here that I like that much though. So I'm probably gonna just put it back. Some folks specialize in plush, I do not. This is kind of cool, a Guitar Hero uh, box set and then a rock band guitar set or whatever the Guitar Hero version of that is but they want an astonishingly high amount of money for this they want 40 bucks for the guitar hero guitar and 60 bucks for the band set just absolutely insane everything here is so 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 highly overpriced that they want i mean they're wanting 20 bucks for vcrs here that are not good vcrs they want 35 bucks for cd players that are not good cd players i think it's a bust hey eh, well not the best uh, I bought some toys there. It's pretty dark out, so I'm going to go home now. And tomorrow morning, I'll go through all the items and show you what I got uh, and what I expect to get in totality. Okay, guess what? We are not going to do what I said we're going to do. When I brought the items in last night, I put them in with all my inventory, and I forgot that I was going to make the video, and I just listed them all already. What I can tell you is I had five media players worth $6.25, uh, one pair of skis for 150 and then 11 miscellaneous toys that'll sell for about 600 bucks. That is the roundup. All in all, we're looking at probably a thousand dollars, 900 bucks profit. Um, you know, it depends about returns. It depends about the price going down because those things are inevitably going to happen. High end 1200, low end 800. We're going to fall somewhere in the middle of there. That was the video, guys. A little bit of a longer video. The format was not what I've been doing recently, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you make some better informed buying decisions the next time you're out sourcing. See you guys later.